So thank you very much. Okay. You, okay. I think I. Okay. I think I don't have any more other free hands for dealing with it. I would just. I promise I will drink afterwards. Okay. Um, thank you, Milan. Uh, thank you, Ines, and all the people from uh, Future Architectural Platform for this uh, very interesting cultural exchange that we are doing right now. Creative Food Cycles is also a co-funded project for from European Union. <coughs> And uh, we are showcasing you some part of the outputs and there are some other activities. So some uh, small comments from before uh, I'm starting presenting the contents. There are flyers and there are gadgets there. You can take it with you. Please feel free for taking it. They are done, done on this purpose. And uh, we have a super nice website, and I hope everybody can join us in spreading the communication about the working activity. Um, as Milan was introducing you, Creative Food Cycles is dealing with the topic of food in connection with city creativity, arts, but not about, I would say, uh, the normal uh, issue that are connected with food, so it's not nutritional values what we are talking about. We are talking about food as a cultural medium, connected with some drivers, as we call it. So, how we can create new conviviality through food cycles, how we can scale up food cycles as a model of co-design, how we can food cycle and answer transformation of cities and territories. Starting from these drivers, that are connected in a way also to the expertise of the three partners involved in the project, Leibniz University, Hanover, uh, the Jak Institute for Advanced Architecture in Catalonia, and the University of Genova. Creative Food Cycles wants to enhance this connection between food topics connected to uh, different processes of food, uh, from production to distribution, from this to distribution to consumption and then from consumption to um, disposal. We call it disposition because it's also how the way uh, we can work in connection with the design of an object. So the range of the design <coughs> connected to food cycles uh, go from the city scale, from the urban scale, to the design of an object of a service. Uh, this project has been uh, uh, started at the, at the very end of 2018, um, we developed a set of recursive action that are mainly three workshops that we developed with uh, the other partners, a set of uh, itinerant installa um, art installation, and especially the activity of this year is about this itinerant exhibition that will be hosted in different cities uh, in, in, in Europe. Then we have uh, a final uh, event as a very big festival in Genova and a final uh, conference in Hanover. Uh, my colleague Sabrina Sposito has in her hand a catalog that collects all the best practices that we studied over the first year. This book can be downloaded for free from our platform so everybody can have a PDF uh, who wants an, anal an analog copy, uh, we can, can just write us and we can find a way how to print it for you. Um, as you can see, there are a different range of projects inside of it. Uh, as I was mentioning you before, there are the a part, a core part of the, of the project is the creative action. Uh, as you can see, the the two posters uh, are organized uh, by each partner, one workshop and one installation. And during the workshop, different groups of uh, students and professionals from architecture, design and urban, and urban planning work it together on the idea of prototyping different, uh, different design objects that have been scaled up in art installations. Uh, this is the same thing I've been done in Hanover University. Uh, they have different kind of approach related to uh, model and and also a part of a very, uh, so to say, pop-up action with the students as well. This was, for instance, was a folding table that we created with the students. 
As well in Genova, the core of the action was connected to the co-design and the creation of AVIV event with also theater performances and let's say enhancing this work done by the students of uh, uh, design, product design, connected to reusing uh, scrap from, uh, starting from scrap from uh, wasted materials from food. I'm going to leave the word to Sabrina. Thank you. So very, very quickly, uh, which is a program for, um, for creative food cycles in uh, 2020, we have the itinerant exhibitions uh, that you can see also here today. And uh, it started in Barcelona in November and uh, it is now here in Ljubljana, thanks to uh, Mao and for the organization of this. And next venue is um, Antwerp in March. And then um, it will be in Hannover, in Porto, in Montpellier, and uh, in Genova. And uh, um, it is a series of international exchanges in between the partner cities and uh, hosting cities. And uh, it is based also on interconnections with uh, local cultural activities. And tomorrow at half past 10, maybe, we have an <laughs> itinerant tour. So uh, we have half an hour and we can explain you more in detail um, how the panel has been made and uh, which is the pathway and uh, uh, what we developed during this um, year. And uh, so this is uh, the impression, some impressions from the opening exhibition in Barcelona that was within the Responsive uh, Cities Symposium at IAC, so at the Institute of Advanced Architecture of Catalonia, that is one of the partners. And uh, um, an important next event is in Genova is the International Festival. So it's uh, a creative and uh, an educational platform that will be organized and hosted by the, um, the Genova team from the first to the third July of 2020. It will be within the Festival of the Sea, that is a very, very huge event in Genova, in the uh, port area. And uh, this is very important because we just opened the call for contributions um, in the transformation of cities and society uh, towards sustainable uh, urban futures through food cycles. And the uh, abstract submission is uh, until uh, 15 of March, and it is open to uh, young researchers, senior researchers, but also to professionals, to creatives, to, um, to architects, to product designers, and we have three sessions. Creative food cycles as driver of urban resilience, um, creative food cycles as social innovation, and the creative food cycles based on digital technology. And uh, uh, this is the final symposium. So um, 17 and 18 September 2020, we will have the final big uh, um, conference. And uh, we are in different, uh, yes, <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs>